here in, in Allenton after a, another win for the Saints, 2-0 away at Hampton and Richmond Borough. Again, Ian, just another professional performance, wasn't it? Uh, I felt after the first half an hour, Jake, um, I didn't think we were at the races early on. Um, all credit to them, they came out, they uh, were on the front foot. And we could have been 2-0 down before we uh, before we decided there was a game of, game of football there to be played. We uh, squeezed them a little bit and made things a little bit tougher. And then we started to pass the ball and I thought we scored a great first goal again. Um, and as I said to the players at half time, we can't, can't keep scoring worldly goals. We've got to go and score some fruff, uh, scruffy goals. And uh, we've managed to again, you know, go in at half time, one nil up. And I thought second half, apart from probably the last, maybe sort of seven or eight minutes where they threw a lot of bodies forward um, and put us under a bit of pressure is that I felt we looked quite comfortable. And Michael was had to make one save down to his left, but didn't really have a lot to do. Um, and I felt we had one or two really good chances to seal the game a lot earlier, uh, a lot earlier than what we actually did. Um, and then we, you know, we've managed to put a second goal in, which obviously kills the game anyway. But um, you know, we just got to be a little bit more professional. I feel in terms of of the way we see some of the games out. Um, I just felt we just was continually chasing to get a second goal, and sometimes you just got to accept what you've got. Um, but you know, these these ain't easy places we've come to. I mean, these are a good side here again. You know, Gary's built a really good team. You've seen with the. Uh, with their performances over the last couple of weeks, that it was going to be a tough game, and we had to come in and defend for, for large numbers, um, for, for long periods in large numbers. Um, but we've managed to to hit them on the counter attack on a couple of occasions and uh, and got our rewards in the end. You mentioned the goals there; it was two very clinical finishes, weren't they? Yeah, I mean the first one I thought was a great goal. As I said, to you, there was a pattern of play again out on the left hand side, and the, and the ball into Mitchell, and he's had one touch and, and buried it in the bottom corner. Their keepers made two great saves in the second half um, to keep them in the game at that stage. I mean, as I said, Michael's made one for us, but their keepers made two great saves. And then, lucky enough, it fell for Solomon in that last minute, who's uh, who just drilled it into the bottom bottom corner from off the post, really. I mean, we weren't sure if it had gone in for ages. It sort of took ages to nestle in the back of the net. So, but I'm really pleased, as I said, you know, we, we can only keep doing what we do. I mean, we have to take one game at a time, we've said that. Um, but I just felt that first 30 minutes today, we really weren't at the races and, and they're little things we've got to get right before before we go to Oxford on Tuesday. The defence again came out on top with um, some brilliant performances from the players that was, you know, met most of them still with us last season and they're performing brilliantly, aren't they now? They are, but I think, you know, as I've said all along, is that um, the, the guy behind them um, gives them a, a vast amount of uh, information in terms of what he expects from them. Um, I, I felt we didn't defend well enough in the first 20, 25 minutes. I felt we were, we were just off the pace a little bit and they got in twice. Um, so Michael's had to make a really good save and then we, we, we were fortunate that the guy decided to pass the ball um, and they ended up in an offside position. And little things like that changed games. So we went straight up the other end and got a goal and we went 1-0 up instead of being 1-0 down. And uh, if we'd have had to be, if we'd go 1-0 down, we've got to come out and go and attack it. It might be a different game. So, But again, all I can do is just keep giving the players praise because they're the ones that are have got the shirts, um, they're the ones that are putting the performances in, they're the ones that are keeping the clean sheets um, and we just got to keep doing what we're doing as I say, we go to Oxford uh, on Tuesday uh, and then we've got to plan and prepare for that one um, and that's going to be the big thing now is to get the players, get their legs back to uh, to where we need them for Tuesday and uh, and hopefully we can go there and get a performance and, and a result. Obviously that's nine games unbeaten now, this must be one of your best starts as a manager isn't it? Um, possibly, I, I, as I say Jake, you've got to understand Jake, I'm very old and uh, I've been, this is my 31st year, I went, so I'm not sure if my memory will allow me to go back that far to, to what the best start was, but um, I, I'm sure you're right. It must be one of the best starts that, that we've had as a club and, and myself personally. So, you know, we take it all, um, but we all know that, you know, anything can happen on a weekly basis in football. So we've got to just make sure that we keep our feet firmly on the ground. Um, and, and as I say, take each game as it comes and then... Uh, because we're going to have a, rever rehearse, a reversal and, and when we do, we've got to make sure that we, we, we come back from that and it's not a long term of, of facing something that may be a defeat or whatever and, or poor performance and, and then we've got to make sure we bounce back straight from that. But that, that will happen in the next maybe week, month or, or whatever we do. But all we can do is just take what we've got. Um, as I said, you, you know, to play nine games and only can see four games has been outstanding. Um, to win seven of those nine games uh, and, and trust me, they've not been easy games. You know, we've been to Dartford, we've been to Hampton, we've been, been to Eastbourne. So we're playing top teams, we're not playing anybody um, in, in the lower regions. Um, and we've had to come and perform and work extremely hard. So 
But we've got to do that every game, as I say. You know, when we play um, some of the teams that have been struggling at the bottom of the table, we've got to make sure we turn up and, and make sure we don't lose them games. Because in the past, um, teams that I've had have been very good against the good teams and, and we haven't been so good against the teams in the lower regions. So we have to make sure that happens and uh, every game we approach it right and every game we try and pick up three points. Brilliant. Thank you, Ian.